Hello, this is Mert Yalçın from Yalçın Toy Gardens 50 Law of Istanbul. With this video, I would like to give you some information about Turkish practice of hack convention on the civil aspects of international child abduction. Turkey has signed the convention on 21st of January 1998, and it became an internal law regulation starting from 15th of February 2000. Turkey ratified the convention with small details, but in general, the entire application is the same, which is defined in the convention. Turkish Central Authority for the Hague Convention application is Turkish Ministry of Justice, and once there is a return claim, the Hague application is done, Turkish Ministry of Justice runs the file through internal judge. The internal judge is examining the file and find out the information about first where the child, the, the abducted child is located in Turkey and where is the authorized local public prosecution office. Afterwards, the Ministry of Justice sends over the file to the local public prosecutor who is authorized to follow up the Hague Convention procedure on behalf of Turkish Ministry of Justice. Once there is a return claim, the local public prosecutor invites the abducting parents to ask the possibility of voluntary return as stated in the convention. If the abducting parent rejects that, the public prosecutor files a return case to return the child back to habitual residence country. Once there is a pending return case, the decisions regarding the custody of a child could not be taken by any other court. This means that the Ministry of Justice internally or by the claim of local public prosecutor or local counsel, the court which is dealing with the custody matters needs to stop the procedure and wait the result of a return case. The timetable for return case needs to be finalized within six weeks under the convention rules, but in practice, this time is not applicable to major Turkish local court practices because local court needs to invite parties to submit documents, petitions, an entire evidence within the specified timetable in Turkish procedural law and the local court needs to examine the file to find out if there is anything which may prevent the return of a child like article 13b of the convention ruling the court needs to do its utmost to find out the reasons of a return and examine parties' submissions. Once the de decision is made by local court, losing party is always able to appeal the local court decision. In our last practice, the Supreme Court examination took up to three months on the first level. Once the Supreme Court examination is over, again, losing party has a chance to reappeal the file, which we call correction of a decision. By taking into consideration the entire process, I can briefly tell you that entire process can be done between six 
and 18 months, depending on the file, depending on the local court work, and depending on the examinations. After a year 2005, Turkish Supreme Court has changed its decision and started to apply the Hague Convention rules, especially on the best interest of a child basis and started to provide the best decision on the head convention cases because in some aspects Turkish courts are considering head cases as the custody cases which is the major mistake and by the support of local public prosecutor and local councils, the meaning of a convention and the meaning of a result needs to be openly shared between the court and the parties. And indeed, the best interest of a child is always the key issue on the finalization of the case. Once successful return order is obtained and it is finalized after the Supreme Court examination, there is an execution phase which we deal with the execution of this with the support of local public prosecutors and the central authority, Turkish Minister of Justice. The return of a child is done with these three elements, execution of application, the delivery order and execution of the order. This is the brief outline on how we are proceed with the head convention application in Turkey. Of course, every case has different aspects and it differs on the conditions. This is what I can tell you about the Hague Convention application in Turkey. Thank you for listening to me. Have a good day.